the Industrial Revolution, the 1750s to the early 1900s. The Industrial Revolution started off with the Agrarian Revolution, Agrarian meaning farming. In 1750, most people still lived in small villages and made their own clothing and tools. You can see here in the picture, they were made in the home. They needed more food. So with the advances in farming equipment and with the large families, many families now had extra food and many of the people in the families were living longer. You did not have kids dying before their age of two because they were stronger children because of the good foods. And agrarian revolution means a change in methods of farming. There was new technology with the Agrarian Revolution. First, they built dikes, which was to protect the farmland from the seas. And dikes were basically large ditches that if the sea did rise due to a storm, the dikes would fill up with the salt water and it would not get into the farmland. If you put seawater or salt water on the farmland, it, you will not be able to use it for farming. It kills the soil. They also figured out how to use fertilizer to improve the soil. The most common fertilizer being manure or cow poop, goat poop, whatever kind of poop they had. They also invented the seed drill, which is this machine here in the picture. And that is a machine they would row through the land, and as they rowed, it would literally pour out the seeds very gently, and you could tap down the ground around the seeds, and you could plant seeds very quickly compared to in the past. They also had the enclosure movement. Landowners began fencing off land that had once been shared by peasant farmers. Small farms were turned into larger fields. And farming was more efficient, producing more food. And you can see this from this aerial shot. With the different fields being the different colors, those were all part of the enclosure movement. Because of the Agrarian Revolution, the population exploded. Better diets led to healthier babies, which led to people living longer. And you can see here from 1720 to 1970, you had an increase of right around 60 million people living in these countries. That's a lot of new mouths to feed. Now, with the Agrarian Revolution, that was a major cause of the Industrial Revolution. Now, the Industrial Revolution was a period in which the production or how goods were made shifted from the hand tools and being made into the home to being made by complex machines, by animal power, steam power, and humans, and many of those machines could be found in factories. The first country to really get a grip on the industrialization movement was Britain. You can see here on the map, it's in red. It's an island. It includes England, Scotland, and Wales, and the I uh, I Ireland, the island of Ireland, right over here. Industrialization began here for many reasons, all right, but it would spread very quickly, and by the end of the 1800s, the industrialization hit Belgium, France, Germany, Japan, and right here in the good old USA. The first reason it started in Britain was because of the geography. In order to run the steam engines that were popular during the Industrial Revolution, you needed a lot of coal, and Britain had tons of coal. In order to make those big engines and to make those big ships and to make the tools, you needed iron ore, which was also something that England had a lot of. Because it was an island, it had a lot of natural harbors for trading. So ships could very easy uh, and safely go in and out of these harbors, you know, natural harbors, and be able to get the goods on and off their ships. Rivers also were very important as a means of transportation, and they also used it for water power to power the big factories that were being built. The population growth caused major social changes throughout England during this time. Because of the Agrarian Revolution, and because basically people were so healthy, they weren't dying like they used to, you had a lot of families who did not need their maybe 10 to 15 kids anymore. They only needed maybe 5 or 6 to run the farm. So what did you do with the other 
eight or ten that you didn't need around, you sent them off to the city to find their fortune. So a lot of kids started, you know, be, to become workers, started moving from the country to the city because there was nothing for them to do at home. Because of the enclosure movement, far fewer uh, farm laborers were needed, so many people moved to the cities where they could work in factories. This was called urbanization. And you can see here, you got the guy working on the farm, and now a guy looks very similar right here, working and walking outside the factories in London. One of the other causes for the Industrial Revolution were people had money. All right, you can't invest in big businesses and in new ventures and new businesses if you don't have the money. This money was called capital. All right, they had money for investment, capital for investment. And the British Overseas Empire, through imperialism, had a very strong economy. And we're going to talk about imperialism in our next unit. But the British government was making a lot of money off land and people in Southeast Asia and in Africa and India. And as a result, the middle class had a lot of extra money to invest. So they would invest it in factories, mines, railroads, basically using the money they have now, investing it in business ventures, hoping they'll make even more money in the future. There was also an energy revolution coming on where instead of relying on the huge giant water wheels, instead of relying on energy from animals and humans, they started to use coal and power machines to replace people. So there was a huge energy boom with coal eventually that would lead to natural gas. Oil does not come along for a little while here. We're just talking about coal when we talk about the energy boom.